Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Zendry's Home Style Cooking. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of the most creamiest, fluffiest, delicious mashed potato. Okay, it's very simple, few ingredients, yet tasty and delicious. Okay, so here I have, this is two pounds of russet potatoes that I'm using and I choose to use a small one. Reason for that is because to me, it cook a little bit quicker than when you'll use a much bigger size. All right, but feel free to use whichever size you choose all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and peel these and then we can boil and from there we'll proceed on making our creamy mashed potato okay so i have a bowl to the side with some water and i'm just going to peel them and i'm going to add it to the bowl all right it's going to be a little bit difficult when you're peeling it because remember these are very small Right. I'm going to remove those little black stuff in there because I don't want any form of lump in my mashed potato and I want to have a creamy smooth mashed potato, right? So I'm just gonna finish these up guys and then I'll come back and I'll show you. There we are. Okay, so guys, all my potatoes are now peeled. So I'm just going to go through to remove any little dark spot that is there on my potatoes. And I'm not going to cut these in two because they are very small, so they will cook easily, as mentioned earlier. Right? Everything is good, so I'm just going to wash these and I'm going to give it a second wash. Okay, so guys, to my pot, I have some water and I like to put my potatoes in cold water than having the water boil up before adding them. But if you choose to do the other way, you could go ahead and do it. I'm just adding about a teaspoon of salt and I'm adding the salt before than when you cook the potato and then add the salt to the mash. I'm just going to add the potatoes and I'm going to let these boil for 20 minutes. Once that is finished, then we'll come back and start mashing our potato. Oh, and one more thing, guys. If you don't want to peel a potato, just ensure you wash your potatoes thoroughly. And then you can go ahead and boil them. You can do mashed potato with the skin on. Okay? Not to worry. Let's check in on the potato to see. Okay, so they're nice and soft. So I'm going to turn this off and strain off the water. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to loosen up my potatoes a bit with my potato masher and I'm going to put it in my stand mixer. Right? So I'm going to transfer this now to my stand mixer. You could also use an hand mixer if you choose. If you have one, I do have an hand mixer, but I can't find the parts to it. The only part that I can find is the dough hook, which I don't need at this point. Right? All right, so I'm gonna loosen this up for about a minute or so. I'm putting it on low, okay? Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do now, I have one cup of warm milk. So I'm just going to add that to it. So I'm gonna add a half first to see if I need to add all of that. Ooh, just look at that, creamy. Okay, so I'm going to add the remaining milk. So that's one cup of warm milk. 
Okay, so guys, I have one stick of butter, which is equal to half stick, half cup, sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add it small amount first. Mix, I just go about that. And this is unsalted butter. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little bit more butter and this time I'm using some country crock to it. So that's about a tablespoon more to that. I will be adding some more salt to taste because that that I put in wasn't enough. So about half teaspoon of salt as well as some black pepper, some fresh ground black pepper. That should be enough. Alright, just gonna give it about 30 seconds more mix and that's it. Okay guys, just look at that. Oh my goodness, it is so creamy and smooth. So guys, I have some melted butter. I'm just going to drizzle this over it a bit. And you could also use regular butter. You don't have to melt it if you choose not to. We're going to want to try this. Ooh. And I'm going to be adding some parsley flakes to it. Just a little parsley flakes for garnishing. Or you could use some dill if you don't want to use the parsley. Ooh. Just look at that guys isn't she beautiful here you have it guys my delicious creamy velvety mashed potato trust me guys it tastes so delicious you're going to want to try this recipe okay remember i said you don't have to use the stand mixer if you have a hand mixer you can go ahead and do so or if you don't have a hand mixer or a stand mixer just use your potato masher and a whisk and you will get the same creamy result all right so once again i hope you did enjoy today's video guys as much as i did and if you did enjoy it please remember to like this video share this video leave a comment down below let me know what you think about today's video as well as leave your suggestion on what you like to see me prepare next on my channel okay and guys if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so okay until i come your way again with something delicious from my kitchen to yours take care and enjoy bye guys